Yet another solar flare is coming at us. It seems like every one or two days we're getting a new solar flare coming towards us. The solar storm warning, high speed winds, solar winds to smash Earth tomorrow. August 3rd, the exact location has now been pinpointed. The high speed solar winds are set to batter the Earth's geomagnetic field tomorrow with the potential for power grid fluctuations, communications interference and auroras expected to be visible over the United States, even down to Maine and Michigan. Now, the alert came from forecasters at the U.S. National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, and they said the Earth is about to pass through a high-speed stream of solar wind. The phenomenon, space weather reports, is a result of the gaseous material flowing from the southern hole in the sun's atmosphere. And such coronal holes, which appear as dark areas in extreme ultraviolet and X-ray images, are regions where the sun's plasma is cooler and less dense than surrounding uh, the surrounding uh, areas, thanks to the star's magnetic field extending out into space as an open field. According to NOAA, the geomagnetic storm that will result from Earth's encounter with the stream of solar wind will be relatively minor and classified as a G1 event. This is the smallest category in the 5-point G scale used to classify geomagnetic storms. So as a G1 storm, tomorrow's episode has a potential to have minor impacts on satellite operations and include weak fluctuations on the power grid. Like ordered space weather G1 minor, Geomagnetic storm impacts, power systems, weak power grid fluctuations can occur, spacecraft operations, minor impact on satellite operations possible. Other systems, migratory animals are affected as this and higher levels. Aurora is commonly visible at high altitudes, northern Michigan and Maine. So fortunately, G5 solar storms typically only occur around four times in every 11-year solar cycle. The other likely outcome of tomorrow's geomagnetic storm is the generation of auroras at lower than usual alt alt altitudes, with uh, experts predicting that such could be visible over both Maine and Michigan in the U.S. And auroras are, as we know, the natural light shows generated when particles from the solar wind excite atoms in the Earth's upper atmosphere, making them glow. The auroras form curtains of light that follow the geomagnetic field lines and appear in different colors depending on which atoms are being excited. And the two primary gases in the Earth's atmosphere are oxygen, which emits a greenish light, and nitrogen, which appears in hues of blue, pink, and purple. Now, the most powerful geomagnetic storm ever recorded occurred September of 1859. It was known as the Carrington Event. Rather than being the result of Earth passing through a high-speed stream of solar wind, it was instead caused by a so-called coronal mass ejection. These occur when the sun belches out a cloud of charged particles and electromagnetic fluctuations. The Tarrington event affected telegraph workers' networks across Europe and North America, as well as a recently laid transatlantic link that connected them, and currents generated in cables by the space weather event reportedly caused telegraph pylons to spark, operators to receive electric shocks, and some lines to fail completely. Other connections, meanwhile, were still found operating even once their power had been cut. So strong were the electrical currents induced by this storm. Now, according to a study presented at the Association for Computing Machinery, ACM's SIGCOM 2021 conference, a large solar storm like the Carrington event could have, have the potential to cripple the internet for weeks. Unlike the Victorian era telegraph lines, the fiber optic cables that make up the backbone of the internet are immune to the electromagnetic fluctuations caused by solar storms. The same cannot be said, though, for the signal boosters that are dotted along undersea cables in order to maintain connections over long distances. And being underwater, not only are these long distance cables more vulnerable to the impacts of space weather, but they're also inherently harder to access for repairs. Astrophysicists predict that there is a 1.6 to 12 percent 
chance a solar storm powerful enough to cause catastrophic disruption to modern society will strike the earth in the next guess in the next 10 years and now this uh, solar storm that we're going through the solar um, cycle that we're going through uh, seems to have a lot more CMEs and solar flares and solar storms coming at us it's very active this is by Ian Randall on Express UK Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.